Hello everyone, thank you for being here. This video is all about creating line graphs in R. As a very first step, you need to install the R package for once. So you can simply do it by writing install packages ggplot2 and run this script. Step is to load the library ggplot2 every time you use R. So you can see you run this script and it's blue. It means it has no error. Let's move on to load our data set. In this part of the video, we will create a line plot using multiple variables. You can see that I have taken the data from Met Office UK and it is global mean temperature from 1850 to 2021. But this data set shows many different GCMs and they are their prediction about the temperature anomaly. I have downloaded the annual data of four GCMs and we will create a graph just like this. I have provided the link in the description so you can download the CSV files each other. You can see that this file has four data sets of uh, JCMs. The first step is always importing the data set into R and it is from year 1850 to 2020 of four different JCMs that you can see in your data set. The very first thing you would have to is to run the library ggplot and rename your data set so you don't have to type in the long long file name every time so you will write is as data is equal to gcm data temperature you will run it turned blue it means no error Sometimes you will make mistakes, so don't worry, go back and correct it. Just like I put the data in ggplot, then I will define my x and y axis. Here x is here and on y, I want anomaly. So right now I have four different GCMs. So I want line graph to group as, group as GCM. Let's run this. This is the base. It would give us nothing because we haven't defined that what what exactly type we want. So we want line geom line and we will run it. Now you see that there are many different lines but all are on top of each other. You cannot differentiate which GCM data it is. Now lines are according to different different JCM data sets. We have different variables. Sometimes we want to define them using different types of lines some solid some dash or double double dash like this there are many different types of lines that are that you can look over the internet and you can define them right now i have defined four different lines you can see there are many different line types dash solid dash and uh, many different types so whichever you want to define to a particular variable you can choose it Next, I would define different colors to different variables. Following the same script, value is equal. 
For each variable, you will define them as different color. I'm simply writing red, green, orange, and blue, but ggplot offers a whole range of color codes that you can add. Similarly, you can change the size of each line as well. Smaller to the maximum, depending on your customization needs. I have defined 1, 1 1.5, 1 and 1. And then I will define theme as classic. So here you see in the graph, the colors have changed and the theme is now neat and clean classic but still i want to change the axis there is 50 year difference 50 year break i want to change the breaks here you can see different codes you can add whichever code you will add it will change your color color accordingly in the plot You can replace the code like this. And let's copy and paste the code color instead of just writing blue or red. It is pretty simple, right? You can keep checking by running the script over and over so you know where the problem is, if there is any error. I want to change the font size on all the axes. I want to keep it at serif. And then I want to define the labels. You see that in this plot we have a uh, legend on the right side. Now I have added all the basics that we need to define the text and axis, text on x and y axis. also define the, the specification of the legend box I want it to be justified on the left and I will now define the margins
but there is one thing that is bothering me is the title of the legend that I don't want to keep but I will come back to it later to remove it now the legend is on the exact position I have defined you can change it you can move up or down based on the position and now let's redefine our scales in the existing plot there is 50 year break on the x-axis but I want it to be 20 year width break so I will define it as as 20 year breaks whenever you will write you will keep getting keep getting the ideas that what you can write so but of course it is very difficult to remember all the scripts but when you keep working then some of it you will know it eventually similarly I have copied for the y-axis and then I will change the values now I will annotate a text I want to write some text on top left of the graph and I have defined its position oh I just saw a mistake that I corrected and uh, I want the size of the text to be three is good I guess and in the text I want to write global mean temperature difference 1850 to 1900s now let's rerun the whole script all together now you see our breaks are defined now you see the only thing that is left to be done is remove the title of the legend so I have put as legend title I want its element to be blank now it's removed it looks like a very neat and clean multiple variable line plot you can create your own by downloading the data set that I have provided in the description Thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know in the comments if you want to learn more about data analysis and data visualization in R. Thank you.